Welcome back, Finista Nation. We have another LSU video. LSU versus Northwestern State. Ed Orgeron's alma mater. It was an ugly start to the game for LSU for sure, and I did not like it at all. But a win's a win. They pulled it out. It's an ugly blowout, but pretty much. Anyway, let's kick it off. Let's start. Welcome to Death Valley. The LSU Tigers take the field here in front of their home crowd, the fourth-ranked team in the country, with an in-state foe tonight. The coin toss, LSU won it. They've elected to defer, so Northwestern State will receive. It's a Northwestern State offense who wants to put the ball in the air a lot. Their quarterback leads the FCS in completions per game. LSU in the home purple for a change with white trousers and white helmets, the color of royalty here in Baton Rouge. And here we go on a Saturday night in Death Valley. Hit as he throws, it's complete for a Northwestern State first down. That's Quan Shorts. Epler. Incomplete, trying to find shorts again. In practice on Thursday, he's trying to clear the way, and they go over the middle, and that's caught and hauled in by the senior tight end. It's a pickup of nine. Side and defenders have to decide, they're gonna play you tight, or they're gonna play outside of you and take away that leverage. He was three for three against Texas in his home state last Saturday night. And he bangs that one through. Four-man rush. Epler, strong arm, complete pass midfield, and a Demon's first down on a 28-yard strike. Pressure coming. Epler over the middle, complete to Shorts in a first down. After the penalty, first down. Epler looking in zone, fires. Quan Shorts has it. Touchdown. Northwestern State. Have been outscored 516 to three in this series history. Burrow pulls it back, completes it over the middle. Terrace Marshall Jr. to midfield on a 20-yard strike. With LSU, that's what he's brought to this offense. Burrow going through his progressions, fires to the sideline, and a catch by Stephon Sullivan. Before. I didn't know what we're going to do. Pump to the left, look back to the right. Extends with the legs and try to thread the needle there. He gets it complete. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a catch. Tempo, Edwards Hilaire. Dances to the outside and into the end zone. It's a four yard touchdown run for Clyde Edwards Hilaire. All the best backs you've ever watched. And it reminds me, maybe just because the height of a Barry Sanders, that jump cut. Whoop. Hey, see ya. Another long sustained drive here would go a long way. That account has a pass and a sweep to Miles Ward, and he got depleted. Woo. He was perfect against Texas down the field between the numbers, and he's going right there again, and that's complete to Justin Jefferson. Leading a higher percentage of his balls, and this offense is being more productive and efficient. Over the middle again, between the numbers again. This time it's Derek Dillon. In the red zone and in big games, balance is crucial. Mm. Burrow, aiming in zone, and it gets through, and into the hands of Terrace Marshall. A 14-yard strike. But still doesn't stop the mission of improving this defense. Over the middle, that's complete, and bouncing off dudes and running for a first down. They only have three on the line of scrimmage. Everybody else back in coverage. Epler fires, wide open! Touchdown, David Fitzwater! A 26-yard touchdown pass. Receiver run completely by everybody. It was Stingley and Trevez Moore on that side. Joe Burrow back to work. Burrow pulls it back. They almost got him. Rolls out and completes it to Stephon Sullivan. Burrow spreading it around now. He's 15 of 16 on second and three. Straight ahead by Edwards Hilaire inside the five. Defense adds to that box. They've struggled getting consistent push. To the ground game again. And Hilaire is in for the second time tonight. Epler pressured, setting up a screen on the backside. 
And incomplete. Intercepted. Northwestern State with the pick by Dylan Wilson. Play clock winding down. Here they come. End zone shot. It is knocked away at the last second by Derek Stingley Jr. Chip shot. Missed it wide. So we could complete that. Burrow dragged down from behind. It's a loss of six. Coach Wardron, what have you seen from this Northwestern State offense that's allowed them to have success in the first yeah, half? Yeah, a lot of quick throws, a lot of slants. Uh, we got to get tight in our covers, got to get our hands up. They came to play, but uh, we're going to focus on winning the game, play for 60 minutes, win this football game. I feel good about winning it. A little sloppy there, sequence of events to, to end the half. What's your message going to be to your team at the halftime? Hey, you know, we got to play at the center of LSU football. That's all. We got to come back and play for 60 minutes. We're going to do that. I know we will. Thank you, Coach. Go Tigers. LSU will receive this kick to start the second half. They have won 30 consecutive games against in state foes, dating back to a 1982 matchup with a green wave of Tulane. Clyde Edwards Alaire takes it out, and we've got for LSU. Burrow on play action, takes it over the middle. And a crossing route complete for a first down. Plenty of room to run. And LSU will take it all the way into Demon territory. Burrow keeps it, dives into the end zone. A touchdown run for the gunslinger, Joe Burrow. He'll have a chance. Stingley from the 42, first guy misses, second one misses. Third one's blocked to the 40. He taken down inside the 35-yard line. Demons drop back. Burrow trying to thread the needle. And he does it again. Terrace Marshall for the second time tonight. Epler flush from the pocket. Will try to run. Can't quite turn the corner. Lost the football on his way down. They'll say he was down. He's got John Emery Jr. in the backfield now. And Burrow lobs it downfield, complete for a first down. And a foot race now for John Trey Kirkland. Kirkland races all the way down for his 65-yard gain. Year compared to last year, but here, this is touch. And this is something you either have or you don't have. Burrow has the ability to manipulate. And John Emery takes it in from four yards out. Figure out what their identity is going to be moving forward. Whether it's zone and bringing some more pressure to get after the quarterback. There's Stingley. To the 45. Brennan fires and completes another. And Troy Carter. Kyle Trask is a good quarterback, though. Brennan slings it. And here goes Davis Price. Finally, submarine at the 10 for a gain of 18. It's at least an experience. It's a great job of checking the ball down for a big play. Davis Price over the goal line and in. After review, video evidence shows that the runner was elbow was down prior to the ball breaking the plane of the goal line. I take back what I said. Another chance. They didn't leave anything to doubt this time. Good push there up front. Look at that. Every offensive lineman. They bust the coverage again. It's Fitzwater again. Team, he showed up in Nakadesh late. Shot incomplete. Brennan wants to throw it. And he will lob one downfield. That's complete. Zach Von Rosenberg punched it away. I think he was in the same high school class as Joe Brady. Bryce Rivers out of San Antonio, transfer from UTSA, is in at quarterback. Southpaw gets swarmed, and he gets dropped. We had a wonderful dinner at Stabs. It was absolutely delicious, and they couldn't have been nicer. And so we apologize that you're also mistaken. Big chance for a run back on the punt, and LSU is going to take it to the house. 37-yard punt. 53 on the return for Trey Palmer. Derek Stingley had a couple that almost break er, broke earlier in the game. 
And I tell you what, Trey Palmer was fun to watch in practice. They used him a lot in the slot. He's a great athlete. They'll use him more on the offensive side as the season progresses, but man. Who has shown a propensity to get after the quarterback. They are torching the backup quarterback for Northwestern State. South Dakota Wesleyan, Louisiana Tech, and Louisiana Lafayette. Reversal of field for Jenkins. Got a key but fair block and takes it inside the five and just short of the goal line. A staple for this new LSU offense. Straight ahead and a lunge at the goal line will put him in a touchdown from two yards out. Caleb Fletcher is in a quarterback for Northwestern State. The team line up digitally via Madden. They didn't. Can't hide money. No, you can't. <laughs> they didn't forget much. Even Brian Erlacher would be impressed. 65-14 is the final. Joe Burrow, 21-24 for 373-2. Are there concerns defensively? Yeah, Northwestern State got a couple touchdowns against them in the first half. The week after a Division II school. It's the 800th win in program history for the LSU football program. Let's take you down to the field. Cole standing by with Ed Ogeron. Coach Orgeron, oftentimes it's very difficult for your football team after a big emotional win like yep. you had against Texas to bounce back the next week. Yep. It's even more difficult to bounce back after a sloppy first half That's of football right. and finish strong in the second right. half. What would you learn about your team in the second half today? Ma maturity, play for 60 minutes. We realized they'll play a little bit better than they would. They punched us in the mouth, but we said we're going to throw the last punch, and we did. I'm proud of our team in the second half, especially our offense, of defense. David Randall made a tremendous adjustment to shut them out in the second half. Give credit to North Western, man. They played a lot better than they ever played all year. Joe Burrow may have made one mistake today, but it looks like he took what he did against Texas and literally just kept it rolling. How do you even describe what he's doing right now? Yeah, confident, mature, senior. That's the way it ought to be. He has some great receivers. We have a great plan. Joe is a competitor. He wants to be great. What does this team need to do off of this win moving forward well, to finish your goals? You know, learn a lesson that we have to come out and play for 60 minutes. Uh, we know we didn't play very good on defense in the first half. We got to play for 60 minutes. We got to start fast. But I'm proud of this team because we said we're going to start faster in the third quarter than we did last week, and we did. All right, go get some rest. 6 a.m. prayers and then curls to follow. Yes, uh, go Tigers. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. 610 yards of offense, Joe. Why were you guys able to be so successful tonight? You know, we scored on a lot of our possessions, but I don't think we really played as well as we could have. Uh, I was pretty disappointed in myself uh, in the two-minute drill. I threw a pick into cover two. Uh, I should have seen that guy, so we got some things to work on. We talked during the broadcast about how you guys attack the middle of the field. Is that a part of your plan that you talk about and discuss throughout the course of the week? Yeah, you know, we really just attack the areas that the defense gives us, and, you know, really the last three games, the, open, the middle of the field's been kind of wide open for us, so that we've been attacking there. Now, the run game's changed a little bit from last year as well. You hadn't had the opportunity to do what you did as much. That rushing touchdown, how'd that feel? Yeah, it was good. Um, really, I just do whatever the defense dictates. Um, and he, he went after the back, so I pulled it and kept it. What's the next step for the LSU offense? Now, we're going to have to get better this week in practice, my, myself including. Um, you know, we have a long way to go to get where we want to go, but it's a great start to the season. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. 610 yards of offense, and Joe Burrow, not happy. If they want to be a championship contender, there are steps that LSU needs to take on both sides of the ball. But tonight, a comfortable victory, 65-14. to 14. For Jordan Rogers, Cole Kubelik, our fantastic crew, I'm Tom Hart. So long from Baton Rouge. Let's get you to the studio. Dari, Chiz, and Doring.